Hello everyone. I often see people online asking how to convert or extract the JPEGs out of a RAW file. To show people how to do that, I've set up two directories here, one with 50 RAW files from my Sony A7R3 and 50 RAW files that from my Canon 70D. So we can see that this process works to extract the, the embedded JPEGs from both of these two file types. And the tool that I use uh, to do this is called IrfanView. IrfanView is a freeware open source um, graphics viewer that I've used for years. Uh, you can download it online uh, and install it on your, on your uh, computer. Um, you want to install both the the software itself and also the plugins. The plugins uh, enable IrfanView to open uh, RAW files of various types. So once that's installed, I have mine set up as my default image viewer. If we go in here and I just double click on an image, it will open it on my desktop. And then I can use my left and right arrow keys to scroll through the pictures. So these are some pictures that I shot of um, the high school robotics team that I'm a mentor for, uh, 2363 Triple Helix. Uh, we did a demo at the Langley Air Force Base Air Show um, just uh, recently. And this was our booth that we had set up. And um, so I oftentimes will shoot this with my DSLR, but then I want to convert these pictures for the team into JPEGs very quickly without going in and doing any kind of uh, special editing. So the way that I would do that is you come in here and go into your directory. Um, I'm going to change this to the detail view so that we can go up to the top, uh, the first um, file that's here, and double click on it so that it opens up an urban view. And then you hit B for batch conversion. You can also get to that through the file menu, file, batch conversion. And what you're going to do is there are some settings here. You're going to, we're going to output it in the JPEG format. Um, for options, I think I kept all these the same, although I, I usually run the quality all the way up to 100%. I think the default is like 80% or something. Um, I just run it up to 100 and leave it there. And the output directory for this, I tell it to just put it right into the same directory that I, that, um, I open the files from. Then the next thing we need to do is select the files that are in this batch. And the way that you do that to select them, um, you have to get them to go into your, into this, um, into the directory. And what I just do is hit star there and that selects or it puts all of them in the list. I hit control A. No, let's see, control A to select them all and then add to put them all in this list. And then to do the batch conversion, I come over here and just hit start batch. And it just blasts through those 50 files just that quick. Now I'll say return to batch and I'll close this and close Earthen view. And now if we go into the director, we see that there is the raw file and then there's the JPEG. And if we double click on to open the raw file, when you open the raw file in Irfan view, it's actually opening the embedded JPEG that's in that file. You, if you go down here, you can see that the size of that JPEG is only 1080 uh, pixels tall. Um, the, the actual raw file is much, much larger than that. Um, so if I hit F to show it at full, full, um, full uh, dimensions it's it's much smaller than it would be if i if i opened up that raw file in uh, the processing software i would normally use which would be dark table so this is the what's being displayed here right now is the embedded jpeg that's in the uh, in the sony raw file then if i hit the right cursor uh, the right arrow it switches over to the jpeg that was created it's also 1080 tall but you can see that they're completely indistinguishable, indistinguishable from each other. So this is the raw file. This is the JPEG. You go to the next image. That's the raw file. 
that's the JPEG. So what it has done is it's extracted the, the embedded JPEG from the raw file and saved it separately. So now we've got this directory with both the raw files and the JPEGs. And if you sort this by type, that pulls all of the JPEGs down to the bottom. And then if I wanted to save these, I'd probably create a new directory and called it, uh, call it JPG. And then come over here and expand it. And we'd probably grab all these JPEGs like that and then just drag and drop them over onto the JPEG directory. So now there's our, there's our directory full of the raw files. Come over here, here's the directory full of JPEGs. Now we can do the same thing with Canon files. These are pictures that I shot when Triple Helix was at the national championships last year. And so here are some of the pictures and if we want to do the same conversion um, we double click on it open it up in um, in Irfan view now the interesting thing about Canon raw files is that the embedded JPEGs in Canon raw files are actually full-sized so if you come down here these are 3648 pixels tall and if you hit F to view them at full resolution you can see that they get real big and this is Actually, one of the one of the things that I really like about Canon versus Sony um, RAW files, I think Sony RAW files suck because they don't give you a full resolution JPEG. Um, if I want to, if I want to sit down with somebody and look through these pictures very quickly, I can open them up in Earth and View and just blast through them real quick. And if I want to zoom in on this, I can hit F and zoom in and see what's really here. I can't do that with the Sony ones because the JPEGs that are embedded in Sony RAW files are, are so much smaller. But let's go ahead and do the batch conversion of these ones, B for, for batch. Um, we need to put them in the current directory and then we'll come up here and add the files to the list. Come up, control A for all, hit add to the list. And then we'll say start batch. And you can see that this runs a little bit slower because these files are bigger than the Sony files were. But um, that's a price I'm willing to pay if I want to, if I want to be able to see these files, uh, if I want to be able to see the, the full resolution in the pictures. So we're coming up on 35, 40, 45 and we're done so we can say exit batch and if we come back to our directory and look at details now we've got the uh, the the raw files and the JPEGs here and we'll do what we did before where we open up the raw file and then hit the right arrow key and there's the JPEG and they're exactly the same on the screen. And again, if we wanted to, we could pull these off by making a JPEG folder and sort by file type. Expand this over here. Come down and we'll grab all the JPEGs. And then we'll drag and drop them into their file folder. So there are the JPEGs and here is the original folder with all of the raw files in them. So that's a quick and easy way to export out the embedded JPEGs from raw files if you want to use um, the, the, those JPEGs for some reason. Um, so hopefully this is helpful to people and uh, that's it.